Hey everyone and welcome back to the It's Good To Talk podcast. Today, it's a solo one and that's kind of appropriate as to what I want to talk about. In a couple of days time from when this comes out, it is Valentine's Day. And for many people that is a day of joy and celebrating your love and your connection to other people and everything like that. But for a lot of other people, it's a further reminder of their own loneliness. And loneliness is probably the one mental health um, issue that basically everyone at some point in their life comes across. And it's something that's very hard to, to deal with. Depending on what your background is, whether you've lost someone, whether you have just gone so long without interacting with anybody, whether you live alone, whether you work from home, whether you're somebody that just doesn't find it easy to connect with people. These are all things that can make us feel like we're disconnected from the world, like we don't have any way to interact or, or do anything. And it's something that we all come across. And obviously, if you're then somebody that has depression, anxiety, um, anything along these lines, it can then manifest even more in certain areas. So I just wanted to talk relatively quickly today about those issues in loneliness because I think a lot of us don't even see it as a mental health issue even even though it is it is and it exacerbates and other things and of course as I say in two days time it's Valentine's Day now for a lot of people that's going to be very very hard now one of the most obvious things I think I see over and over again when it comes to loneliness and how to deal with loneliness I, and I can't believe I'm saying this because it always strikes me as ridiculous every time I see it. You'll find people always talk about, well, make some new connections. Yeah, let's just do that. Well, wait a minute. There's probably a reason that you're lonely. And it may not actually have anything to do with you not having those connections. It may be that you feel lonely within yourself. And this often will happen with people with depression, for instance, there's there's a disconnection that they've made. But just because you may have friends, you may have a lot of family, doesn't mean that you don't feel alone. Doesn't mean that you don't feel lonely and out of it when it comes to um, the world around you. So making connections makes no sense in that way. And also this idea that, well, just make some connections. Well, actually, if it is the fact that you can't make a connection, is the reason for your loneliness that you work from home or that you haven't been able to find anyone to really talk to since you moved to a new area, then making connection isn't something that you're finding that easy. So there's a, a, a big one about this idea of just, well, make a connection. It doesn't make that much sense when it's put in those terms. I think the first thing personally that you need to do, instead of just going, make connections, that will come. That will come with time. So to me, the first thing to do is to have some mindfulness to allow yourself to realize that that will come with time and to take things slowly. Recognize that, okay, what's happening right now, that your inability to make those connections, accept that, understand it, but don't try and speed up. Don't go, Oh, I've got to find friends. Well, my dad can find friends all the time. I see a TikTok a lot where it goes, in my 20 years, I have no friends. My dad, when he's in a taxi and it's, um, you know, two people singing along. But take it slow. Not everyone finds connection the same way. Not everyone can interact with their own mind in the same way. Being able to take time understanding yourself is something I think is important. And with that, obviously, I think that mindfulness is important because... A lot of the time, we don't even understand as to why we might feel alone. As I said, you may have friends, family, but still feel alone. If we take that moment of mindfulness and we take some time for ourselves to understand it, to see what's going on in our own mind, that's going to be an important step. That's something that we're allowing for ourselves and then we don't have to attack and beat ourselves up every time we think of how we're feeling. Now, the other thing that I think comes on from this, but it is something that is a secondary step. This isn't a, a first step at all. You have to understand yourself first. But 
open up to those that are there. Now, it may be that you have literally nobody. Now, I think that's unlikely. I think there's always going to be somebody. However, if you're in a, uh, a spot where you don't feel that, then it is different. But opening up to anybody that is in your life about the fact that you are feeling lonely, that one friend that you know from university, your mother, your next door neighbor, even some helplines, and just open up about how you're feeling when you've made that connection. When you've made that connection with yourself, just open up to somebody or even talk it out loud. Because a lot of mindfulness is done in our own heads. And when we can't hear our own voice, it's hard then sometimes to interact with that. So say it out loud if you need to. If you really truly have nobody else, say it out loud. Understand it, sit in it so that you can actually see what's going on around you. Also, don't compare yourself to others when you're doing this. As I said, so many of us will go, oh yeah, but my mum, my, my dad, they can make friends all the time. My friend, they have so many friends. So, we're all different with everything. Some of us can run a mile. Some of us can run 20. Some of us can run 100. Some of us can't run at all. Some of us will be able to get good grades at university. Some of us can never make it to university. Everyone is an individual. Everyone is different. And so to try and think, well, they're making friends, so I should be able to. Oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other. No, because it is the case that we do tend to beat ourselves up around those connections, around our mental health, more than we do for anything else. Nobody even generally cares if they can't run a marathon. That's, you know, people that run marathons, they love it. But a lot of people, and I am one of those, but a lot of people won't be caring about marathons and they don't have a go at themselves because they can't do it and yet when it comes to their inability to connect with something in their own mind oh then they're going to beat themselves up all the time well why can't i do this i should be able to do this this person can do this so what that's not you and that's fine it's absolutely okay to not be the same as everybody else and that's something that we really need to connect with ourselves on obviously looking after yourself is something that you need to do when you're dealing with loneliness because a lot of the time we actually make our loneliness worse by kind of actively attacking ourselves as i said before we attack ourselves a lot but then if you are not getting any sleep you're eating badly you're not getting out of the house anything like that that then starts to pile up well, I'm lonely, so what's the point of going out? Or I'm lonely, I'll just watch this film and stuff and face whatever it is. Those things then exacerbate the situation. They make them worse in our own head and they make the ability for us to actually get out of that rut a lot harder. So trying to make those patterns fall away. Actually, I've said this before, journaling and understanding what you're going through in this again Go back and back and back into mindfulness and see those things and try to deal with your situation in a way that you're looking after yourself. That will help. Won't feel like it, but it will. And I will say this of everything that I've said. It won't feel great immediately. It isn't a quick fix. It isn't the answer to everything. And these are only things that I personally interact with and I know that others have. Everybody is different. And the journey is longer than you may want it to be, but it's better than standing still in the middle of the road. Obviously, the one that you're going to hear everywhere as well is talking therapies. A lot of the time, it's, it's needed because that loneliness, as I say, isn't necessarily from our inability to connect. It can just be us in our own heads, not just able to really see any of that love any of that connection beyond what our mind wants to attack us for and loneliness can be very 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 difficult it does come more for, for older people when people you know are no longer there anymore but it can be for anybody in any walk of life at any age and it is important to talk it through with someone and that's literally what a therapist is there for so if you can see a therapist and talk that through that's going to be really helpful because they might have some tips, some tricks, some ideas that they know help and that they've seen other people do as well. And that's an important one because loneliness isn't always about being alone. It's about being alone in your own thoughts. 
that's different. It isn't just that you're unable to connect with someone and that you're sitting in the park all by yourself feeding ducks. Okay, it can be that you're in a crowded room and yet somehow you're still alone. And that's something I think we need to remember of ourselves as well. And also something we need to remember of our friends and family that just because you've seen them that week, that day, if they look a bit off, they may still not be feeling like they're connecting. They may still feel very, very alone. And as I say, at this time of year, can just be a reminder for people that they haven't got a partner, that they've lost a partner, that they are disconnected somehow from the revelry of everybody else that's enjoying the day, and they're not. So be there for each other as well. Be there for the friends that you do have who may actually be going through an incredibly hard time with their own loneliness. Um, that was just a quick one today, and of of course, do um, go through the uh, helplines that you can find. There is a helpline if you go for uh, upformentalhealth.org, which is my charity. There are helplines on there that you can talk to somebody um, about all sorts of different things, whatever you're going through. Do make sure that you connect with your friends when you can, if you can, and just be there for each other. Because loneliness doesn't need to be there but it's very hard to get past when you decide to bury yourself in it. I hope you've enjoyed that quick uh, one for today. I thought it was appropriate to just be a short, sharp one and to be here by myself to kind of make the point about loneliness. But I will see you again next week uh, where we should have a new guest and we'll talk through a few different things and a few different perspectives. But until then, I hope this week goes well for you and I'll see you next time.